Hello, my name is Shelley and I'll be demonstrating our newest portal feature. This new feature will allow you to pre-register for your appointments through Door County Medical Center's Health Portal. Something to keep in mind is that you will get multiple emails with the subject line of new items to be viewed. You will get one right away when the new appointment is booked, no matter how far out that appointment is. Within two days of your appointment, you will get at least two more, one indicating you have questionnaires to submit, this is your consent to treat, the second email will be for appointments to pre-register. To access your portal, you can go to DCMC's website, you can go through the mHealth app on your phone, or you can select the blue link in one of the emails, which will launch you to the login page of the portal. This new feature allows you to update your demographic information, add insurance, including taking a picture of the front and back, and certain appointments will allow you to update your medication and allergy list. We'll sign into the portal. Once you're in the portal, you'll see you have the ability to pre-register here. Two tiles, your appointment tile and your health record tile, both have red dots indicating there's stuff to do. Again, these are probably all tied to your pre-register, so you can choose to pre-register here, or you can go to each individual tile and take care of the individual items if you prefer. So I clicked on the health record tile here. This will open up your health record. So the questionnaires tile down here is red and it's telling me that my consent form is due. This is the same consent form you would sign if you were here in person. Instead of adding your signature, you just need to select the radio button and hit submit. Once you're done with that, you can go back to the home page. You can select pre-register. The first step is to do um, any new address, phone number, maybe you've changed where you live, Maybe your cell phone has changed. So anything that has these open fields allow you just to free text in there what you will. Um, these that have the carrot onto the right hand side are a choice to look up to. So you select from the list of op um, options that we have for you. So maybe you want to do some updating of that if, if ours is wrong. Select the next button when you're done. This is your employer, and again, you may have changed employers. Again, your state here is gonna look up to this, all the states here, and then your zip code as well. Phone number of your employer, what your occupation is, and then your employment status, full-time, part-time, that kind of stuff. So if any of that has changed, just update that information. Then your next of kin, so you're gonna put in the patient's, your next of kin's name, address, phone number, if, and if it's already there, that's fine. All you have to do is just go ahead and hit next. And if their person to notify is the same as your next of kin, you can select that box and select next. This is the insurance plan that we have on this patient. So this will show your insurance plan. If, it, if you still have this plan and select yes, it's going to ask you to verify do the images that we have on file match your current plan card. If it does not, you can say no and you can choose to upload photos. If you choose to upload photos, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and pick one from your um, desktop or your laptop. Um, I'm gonna not do that today only because these look correct to me, so I'm gonna say yes. If you have any trouble uploading a photo, just it's not required, you can just skip it, bring the copy of your insurance card with you and we'll take care of it when you come and move on to our next option, which is to review and update our medications. Not all appointments will allow you to review or update medications. If you're coming in for a lab test or an x-ray, those will not allow you to do this, but you, if you have any appointment that you're seeing the provider, the nurses will then review this information with you one final time before we accept it into your record. So if you need to add a medication, this is where it's gonna be pretty helpful to have your medicine bottle next to you because sometimes medication is spelt really strange and this looks up to a large dictionary. So I would suggest having it next to you. So it'll start searching for those characters that I entered in. I'm gonna fill in how many I'm taking, how often you take it, who prescribed this medication, why are you taking this medication, you can add additional comments if you need to, otherwise submit that. And maybe you're not taking this one anymore, and then the reason why doctor told me to stop taking. 
And when the nur when you come in, the nurses will review this with you again. And again, you can keep adding medications until you've got all of your all up to date. And then next, we'll allow you to do your allergies. So maybe you're not allergic to uh, this allergy. Now, what we have listed says allergies, but this is also adverse reactions. So if you're sensitive, like something might have caused you nausea, or you didn't feel good with it, or caused joint pain, those are all on here. Leave those on there because we will. They just get listed in your allergies, but it's allergies and re adverse reactions. So if you don't want this one any anymore, you can say I'm not allergic to this. And then that will move that there. If you need to add an allergy, again, this looks up to an allergy list. So maybe you want to do um, like a fever. It's not going to be in our dictionary, but then you can say and maybe it's a mild reaction and maybe you sneeze with that. And we're gonna submit that to our final submission. Right now in our test environment, we're having this message that it's saying it's unable to process it, but I promise you it actually is working. So you can go ahead and select okay, and it does work. And then registration's been submitted, you can select okay. It's telling you that your appointment's all been pre-registered and you can go back to your home screen or you can log off at this point.